AEP is American Electric Power. It's a great name and a great company and one that uh, actually is uh, in 11 states. We have um, over 5 million customers and we have over 40,000 miles of transmission lines, over 3,500 substations, more than 5,500 power transformers, and more than 11,000 circuit breakers on our system. What can we do to prevent failures? What can we do to optimize the maintenance effort that we have uh, on the system? We've got uh, more than 33% of our transformers, for example, are more than 50 years old. One in six are more than 60 years old. They're increasing in number, but as an aggregate, the, that asset base is aging. How can we best optimize and put our attention on the right things at the right time, in the right place? The ideal situation is that we know everything about all of our assets at all times. And what it, what it enables us to do is to know the condition and whether or not we need to do anything about it and by when. One of the important things about an asset health system would be to support decisions on what are the actions that are necessary. By organizing that information and help us see it in a much better fashion, uh, we're not inundated with all of the data that we typically would be. So I think that's one of the greatest features. We're gonna learn some things as we interact. We also believe that we can extend this to yet more assets and more facilities than we'll initially be able to have connected through the real-time monitoring. That old infrastructure won't last forever. It probably won't uh, all uh, reach its end all on the same day, but it's important that we assess the condition of that aging infrastructure and take appropriate action before it takes the action itself and removes itself from service.